Today let's talk about the differences between Hermes and Nanners. There seems to be a lot of misconception by new growers about the difference between Nanners and true Hermes. Both are things you don't want to see in your garden and both will cause your plant to produce seeds. But what are the differences between the two? First let's talk about Hermes or Hermaphrodites. Now true hermaphrodites exist in cannabis and they're sometimes referred to as intersex plants. Intersex is when your plants display both male and female sex organs. Female cannabis plants have calyxes and pistils, while males do not. Female plants produce aromatic flowers that most people think of when they think of cannabis, while male plants produce anthers, otherwise known as balls or pollen sacs, that drop pollen for reproduction of seeds. Hermaphrodites are found in strains with unstable genetics. Now that we know the difference between male and female cannabis and what intersex is, we can start to identify nanners. A lot of people confuse having nanners with having a true hermaphrodite plant. While the confusion makes sense, there are clear differences between nanners and a hermaphrodite. As we said before, Hermes will display both pollen sacs and female flowers. But what are nanners? Nanners are skinny yellow growths that sometimes look like small bananas. This growth is actually the male stamen, normally found inside of the pollen sac. Nanners appear during the flowering stage and will grow straight out of a female flower or bud. 90% of the time, these are caused by stress to your plants during the flowering stage. This can be a cause of too much feeding, temperature and humidity fluctuation, or what seems to be the most common cause, light leaks. Light leaks will confuse and stress your plant during flower, causing them to produce nanners and later seeds for self-preservation. Some cultivars are more easily triggered to produce these male stamen early on in flower when stressed, but almost all strains will produce them at some point late in flower. Since cannabis plants are annual, they produce these nanners as a last ditch effort to produce seeds and continue their lineage. Normally males will drop pollen to impregnate females, but with nanners the male stamen does not need to drop pollen to produce seeds. In fact, usually when you see the nanner, that means the plant has already started producing seeds. How to avoid hermaphrodites and nanners? Avoiding hermaphrodites and nanners seems simple, but this is something almost all growers will come across at one point or another. The biggest help to avoiding nanners and hermes is to get reliable and stable genetics when ordering seeds. The next step is to avoid stress. Try to create and maintain a stable growing environment with proper temperature, humidity, and nutrition, while also avoiding light leaks. Being in your garden frequently and keeping an eye on your crop will do wonders for avoiding these situations. And if you do come across a hermit, you can act quickly to remove the suspected plant before it pollinates your entire grow. Nanners are somewhat less of a concern, especially if they show up later in flower, since most strains take around 5-6 to six weeks to produce a viable seed. But it's still a good idea to quarantine both Hermie and Nanner showing plants from healthy ones. If you found this video helpful or informative, please leave a like and subscribe, and also share with a friend. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.